What is up, guys? It is Turtles Gaming here, and I am back. Um, I was kind of discouraged for a moment, but then I was able to regain some more courage as some friends helped me with my uh, channel here. So I decided to um, continue my channel, Turtles Gaming. So you see here, I have gotten the Master Sword. The the legendary sword that seals the darkness. We have the master sword, and then I have uh, done a lot of this stuff here. And I have gotten a lot of new armor pieces as well while I was uh, off my one month break, which also means that I have gotten Mineru, the Sage of Spirit. We got Unibo. We have Riju, um, Sidon, and Chulin. So you have to see here. So today, my video is not about like walkthroughs or like the gameplay or something like that but i am going to show you how to get unlimited elemental fruit which is uh very useful you see here i have already done to make sure that it works 60 bomb fruit 80 dazzle fruit um th these were all like 20 i mean like the shock fruit and the dazzle fruit and the bomb flower they're all 20 as well so i have 147 shock fruit here i want to show you how to get more shock fruit as well as this works on any type of um Elemental fruit, but bomb flower and fire flower are the most, I mean, fire fruit are the most, uh, most hardest one. So you see here, we have these guys with the backpacks. Uh, we want to keep these guys from dying. And with that, I'm going to put on my Bokoblin mask here. This thing here. Get it from K Kilton and Colton. So get the Bokoblin mask with the, it only costs one Bobo gem. So I recommend getting that one. And then I'm going to kill the current monsters here. So... Oh no. Alright. I, I, you need to hit its head because then it can fall off. So, um, And if you want to, uh, you kind of have to kill the other guys as well. So, yeah. Hopefully he does not notice that I am here. So you want to sh- Oh my god. Stop moving around this guy. <sighs> Alright, there we go. He should fall. He's falling off the ledge and then he dies because of quicksand like that. And then what we want to do is, uh, we want to do this with every single guy. So, let's just, uh, oh yeah, we can just bomb this thing up. You want to kill, oh my god, oops. I think I did that way too much. Oh, I'm burning from heat. Alright, um, well, we're just going to first kill all the enemies. So let's keep this guy right there, and let's kill the other guys. Oh, there's one more moblin. Let me first kill him. Oh, no, 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 no. So it's uh, it's kind of hard because you don't want to uh, you, you don't want to get caught here. Stop going the other way. This heat is really nasty. Oh no. I just need to manage to not get caught here. All right. Uh, stop moving your head. <laughs> this is so difficult with this thing moving around. Uh, so, can you just get off the ledge, please? No! <sighs> this is so difficult. Can I just blast him off? Dang it. All I need to do is just get this guy off the ledge. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about this. Uh, <sighs> I missed again. No, 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 no. Get this guy off the ledge. Finally! Oh my god. Uh, that takes so long. Oh no, 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 you don't. Get off the ledge here. There you go. Goodbye. Uh, and uh, that means this guy with the. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. I gotta get rid of these shots for people. This might take a while. Sorry. Oh my god, stop. This is so annoying here. All right, I better put on some heat-resistant food here. Um, high level, high level. Yeah, ten minutes, please. Thank you. Finally, stop losing health from that damn heat. Stupid. All right, finally. Okay, so now. Oh no. Okay, so right now we have this one guy. Oh, we have two guys. 
Are they both having fire fruit? This guy has fire fruit. Bro, seriously? Fine, at least it's only though. <laughs> it's a uh, fight. Okay, finally you died. Okay, so hopefully he does not see me at this point, and hopefully, so right now he can basically just make a save and then reload the save. Oh, there's still one guy over there. Oh no, he's dead. Thank you, Chulin. Chulin, you're the best. All right, let's just first save. Yes, he's not forgetting that I am there. First save. And then we load that save, and that's what that's going to do, is that they're going to forget that I was there. They're going to absolutely forget that I was there. That's some data that he is going to lose his memory. Mo mo he's he's going to lose his memory, so. I am back here, and the guy is still there right now. And you see, everybody on this, this place is gone, to be right. Am I? Oh, no, there's still one person. Wait, how are they all back? Oh, no, these persons were not back. What was I doing? Oh, no, 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 no. Alright, finally get out of there. Um, I believe this is the only guy left. Alright, goodbye. Uh, we don't need to collect their stuff because we're going to get elemented of those by using this trick. The Bokoblin trick, which I, which I caught. Which I call it. So, let's go down and greet this guy. Well, then he comes to us and say, Hey, this guy looks friendly, right? This guy looks super friendly. So, what we're going to do right now is that we want to get rid of his bow. And also the weapons around him. So, let's first get rid of one of my weapons. This is the weakest one. Yes. I don't really need this weapon, so I'm going to throw it in the quicksand. Let's pick up this sturdy one and just throw it in the quick, quick, quicksand, too. Um... Get rid of this one. Throw in the quicksand. And anything that can he can use besides his shock fruit, we want to get rid of it. Sorry for scaring you there. But he is the, currently the only one left, I believe. So, yeah. Uh, and then this guy, get out of here. Alright, so right now around him, he probably has nothing left. Where did that guy go? There you are. But I'm friendly, right? Look, look. I am a bokoblin, and this guy thinks that I'm a bokoblin. So right now, we want to disarm his bow. Right now, he has a bow which he can shoot our thing. I'll, this, I'll explain later. So let's throw a dazzle fruit. Dazzle fruit is really nice for doing this. Oh, actually, no. First, we want to save our game. Let's first save our game here. Actually, no. Actually, no not right now, but. Oh, I have no bow, yes. Oops. Uh, where'd my weapons go? Oh, yeah, over here. Uh, I'll use, I'll just use the Master Sword. Of course. Um, we're gonna first throw a Dowser Fruit to disarm his bow. Alright. Pick up the bow. Then save. This is really important. Or else he's gonna think that you're one of his enemies. Despite wearing the mask, so... Reload that same save, you save and reload the save. Simple as that. And if you guys are still confused on how to do this, just go to the comment section and I will help you with that. We're back here and that guy is there. But this time he has no bow. He is empty handed. He just has this bucket of shock fruit here. Alright, now, since he has... Oh, alright, the bombs are back. Uh, alright, well, whatever. I had to get rid of this one bomb. Goodbye. Alright, so, since this guy, where did that guy keep on disappearing? Where did he go? Uh oh. Dude, I need you. Where did he go? Hold on one second, guys. I don't know where that guy went. Did he, like, fall down? Seriously, did he fall down? Oh no, he he's there. He's there. Never mind. He's there. For a second, I thought he wasn't there, but um. So first, let's set up a distraction. Come over here, dude. Basically, for this distraction, you basically want a stake, and you want a homing cart like this. Take these out, and then use Ultra Hand. This guy's gonna get afraid of it. He just runs away. Uh, let's put the stake there, and then put the homing cart on top of it. There you go. 
So that's a distraction there. The guy is still here. He thinks that we're one of his friends. And then first, let's get rid of all of our sages. I mean, turn them off. Turn the sages all off. Or else there might be an interference. Okay, then you want to shoot the homing cart. The homing cart is on, and when you come closer... Come closer, come. Come toward me. <laughs> there we go. Uh, then he's kind of confused, like, huh, what is that? And then he's going to about to blow his horn. Blow your horn, please. Thank you. And then he's going to about to... Where, what is he doing? Oh, he's not using it. Oh, yeah. Okay, hold on a sec. Sorry. I think I forgot something. Come here, come here. What's he not doing anything? Hold on, something is not working here. Let's just save. And then reload. I'll, let's reload uh, this save right here. Alright. I don't know why he is attacking it. I just do not know why he is attacking it there. Sorry about that. So our creation did disappear, but that's okay. We can just create a new one. Um. All right. All right. Um. Let's put this thing on top. And then we use it with our arrow. Oh my god. Get out of the way. Alright. And then he's gonna be like, come here, come here. No, 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 no. Alright, hold on a sec. He's gonna throw a shock for that. There we go. Now he's throwing shock for it. I don't know what happened there. I had no idea why he was just like going right up to it and start slamming it. So, right now he is throwing shock fruit. And you see in his backpack that. Every time he throws a shock fruit, he's actually not losing a shock fruit. Isn't that interesting? When he's throwing it, he is not losing a shock, shock fruit. He still has five shock fruit in his backpack right now. So, the trick is that you got to, let's kneel down, let's get into position. And then while he's throwing, when his, it is in his arm, out of his backpack, about to throw, you take it. There we go. And right now, he's not losing any shock fruit, right? And now this is just basically unlimited shock fruit. If you have a turbo controller for a switch, that'd be great handy in this part. That's why the turbo controller is probably handy. You never know when you're going to use it, and this is the time to use it. You can just go and watch YouTube videos, play more Nintendo games. If you have an alt account, you can play more Nintendo games. You can do all that while you're farming the shock fruit here. And right now, I'm just going to use some more Zonite charges, or just wait for it to stop. But I'm just gonna use Zonite Charger so I don't have to do this again, so let's just use, uh... Sure, why not? Alright, so, now, we are back here, and then, while he is throwing it, we collect the shock fruit while it is in his hand. You have to be extremely careful here, you gotta make sure it's, it is in his hand, about to throw, then you collect his, uh, item there. So, yeah, while it is in his hand. There are many type of things that could ruin this process. For example, there might be like a blood moon or some kind of Aracuda somewhere flying that might attack Link. You're right, there's tons of possibilities. And then if that does happen, just do it again. Just find the Miro Tanak Shrine. Uh, the, uh, the Miro Tanak Shrine. Go there, there's a huge enemy camp. So I will go through the steps one more time. First, you want to go to the Miro Tanak Shrine if you're going for fire fruit or shock fruit. I recommend the Miro Tanak Shrine, and you see here, oh, I kind of grabbed, oh no, I grabbed too much, hold on a sec, there we go, sorry about that, I grabbed too much shock fruit there, be careful about that, because that, what I did there, you do not want that to happen, so yeah, this is basically it, go to the Miro Tanak Shrine, and then kill all the enemies, except for the one Bokaba with the backpack that you want to farm, farm the elemental fruit, we have 190 already, you can go up to 999, but that is basically it for this video, I guess. So, uh, just, uh, first, and also if they have a weapon, some of these don't have weapons. You want to disarm their weapon, and then you should be able to do this trick. 
So yeah, this is basically it. We're just gonna be farming this entire time. I'm gonna put my triple controller now. And uh, there we go. All right, it's on. The turbo controller is now going to be farming, and then you can just sit there, relax, watch this process happen, or you can just go ahead and just watch more YouTube videos. But that's it for today. Thank you for watching Turtles Gaming. Uh, I am back. All right, I'm certainly, certainly back because of this, despite of how many subscribers I have, and well, that's basically it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're just gonna be farming all the shop from here. So thank you for watching Turtles Gaming. I will see you guys next time for some more. Goodbye, and thank you for watching Turtles Game.